Hey everybody. Fat Bird Finds here. I'm Mary Beth. And I'm Laura. And this isn't our regular Friday video, Laura. No, it's not, Mary Beth. We are doing something new. We're doing a challenge. Yay. We love challenges. <laughs> I know, it's so much fun. We have uh, accepted the challenge from Joan Brody, the Thrift Queen. Yes. For a $10 flip. Yes. And so, um, just there wasn't very many rules, except that she wanted us to spend $10 and then use anything that we had at home um, and any kind of supplies that we might have at home and flip something and make something pretty for $10. Okay. So, do you know what we're going to talk about today? Yes. Okay. I'm excited. I am too. <laughs> so, the story starts with this barn wood. I remember going and retrieving this barn wood. Yes. Okay. So seven or eight years ago, I think I found a listing on Craigslist for some free barn wood. All you had to do was just come pick it up. Mm -hmm. And I saw it and I was like, man, I really need that. I didn't know what I was going to do with it, but I just really felt like I wanted it and needed it. Yeah, and so we just went over and picked it up, but it was an adventure getting there. So I think it was about five planks of five foot, like five foot planks and, uh, they just stayed in my apartment, like propped up in a corner for years. They were just waiting for this perfect moment. <laughs> they were. Okay, so in 2015, I bought my first house. And the very first time that I went in, into the house to look at it, there was this like little inset in the corner off by itself. And I was like, what on earth did they build this inset for? So my house was actually built in 1914 and it's in a revitalization neighborhood. So it had just been flipped. And I don't think that that little inset had been finished completely for what they intended it to be. I think you're right. I don't know what they must have intended that for. I'm not sure either, but as soon as I saw it, I was like, that's where I'm gonna use that barn wood. I'm gonna make that, uh, that barn wood into shelves over there and, and make this into a bar so that I can display my glassware. It's so awesome. I can't wait for you guys to see it. Okay, so let's let's let everybody in on the journey just a little bit. Okay. Okay, so I already had the barn wood. Mm -hmm. I also like to um, build like lamps and candle holders and other cool things out of pipe. So I had some metal pipe also just lying around the house. I keep it, I keep it like inventory for when I have a wild hair and wanna build something. You're so industrial, you know, like your look would be like industrial modern or urban or something like that. Exactly. <laughs> okay, so I had the wood and I had the pipe. The next thing that I needed was some blue paint. And we'll talk about that a little bit later. <laughs> but the blue paint I already had. And then the only thing really that we bought for this challenge was some little like wine glass racks that allow you to hold, uh, that allow you to display your wine glasses upside down. Yeah, so really we kind of went backwards. We spent all of our money on the, um, kind of on the supplies and the fixtures and everything. And we got the main thing, which is the barn wood for free. Exactly. So the barn wood and the pipe were things that I already had. So the very first step to making this all come together was to paint the back. So Laura had the great idea to paint the back of the bar blue. Yeah, I think your whole house is just great. I mean, it was just, it looks like new. The floors are beautiful and the, you had a nice neutral paint everywhere, mm -hmm. but everything was neutral and I thought it would be really pretty to use a color. And it really was. And so I use a lot of blue and a lot of orange in my decorating and Laura was like, let's do this, this wall in blue. And I'm really glad that she suggested it because it really makes the room pop. Okay, so after we painted uh, the back of the bar blue, then we started in with building our shelves. And when you're really bad at math like I am, it probably <laughs> took me longer than it would have taken the normal person. But I had to make sure and get everything measured and everything spaced correctly. And then we just uh, screwed them up there and that was it. It just turned out amazing. Yeah, I'm really glad that we had this space in the house to be able to do this. It you know, gave me the opportunity to use that barn wood and I'm just very pleased with it. Okay, Laura, so let's go see what it looks like now. I'm excited. Okay, so here it is, the grand reveal. It looks great. Okay, so I've also got some vintage accents up here on the bar that I'll talk about just briefly. At the very top is a screen, like a door screen grill that was on my great aunt's door. I think that's fantastic. Yeah, I love that. I've also got some champagne coupes. These are from, I think, the 30s. Those are pretty. So you got those like out antiquing or something? Yes, and these are really pretty. I love those. And I think I see something that I recognize up here. 
I think these you got these at Layman's. Yes, we did. And that's my mom's store, in case any of you guys don't know that. <laughs> Do you think those are shot glasses? Mmm. <laughs> well, let's see. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I think they're vases. They are vases. But they look really pretty. Yeah, that. they'd be really cute. You know, just one little stem in each one. It'd be really pretty. Yes. We should have done that for the video. We should have. And then I've also got just some antique shot glasses up here. I love, love those. those are cute. Those are all different colors yeah. instead of just being clear. These are pretty old, I think. And the clear stuff is really pretty. It really shows up pretty on this blue uh, color that we decided to paint the yes. back. And you can probably tell that these um, shelves are not perfect. Uh, the wood is kind of warped. It's very rough cut. It actually took a really long time to clean up. So it was really nasty and dirty. We had to clean it with a wire brush and then we had to spray it off and wipe it down. Then we actually sealed it with a satin poly. So it, it was a, a long process, but I think it was worth it. Yeah, it's really cool because it looks like it's just fresh out of the barn, really. I mean, it still looks really authentic. Yeah. But it's nice and clean and usable and spend a lot of time getting it ready. Yeah. And But still maintaining the integrity of the barn wood. Yeah. I, I like the, the fact that it's rough and that it's uneven. I think that gives it some character. It's so cute. So we want to thank everyone for watching this video. Yeah, thanks everybody for watching and we want to give a special thank you to Joan Brody, the Thrift Queen, for inviting us to this open $10 thrift challenge. Absolutely. So if you're new to our channel, we put out new videos every Friday at 9 a.m. Central. We would love for you to subscribe and check out more of our content. Please like this video, leave us a comment below. We love to read and respond to your comments and stay tuned to see what Fat Bird finds next. See you next time. Bye.